Hello friends, this video sequence and series part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched video part 1 and part 2. Let's again understand arithmetic sequence. In the mathematical term, a sequence a1, a2, a3, an is called arithmetic sequence or arithmetic progression if an plus 1 is equal to an plus b. That's what I told where that is you say that the difference of an plus 1 minus you take the sign an is equal to b. That is difference of any two consecutive number is constant where d is called common difference. d is called common difference and even is the first term even is the first term and d is the common difference. So arithmetic sequence is a sequence or arithmetic progression or sequence same thing is a sequence where a n plus 1 minus a n is equal to d that is difference of two numbers is always constant. Example we will take some example. So we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is nothing but a sequence of 10 natural number, first in natural number. So if you see here, the difference between 1 and 2 is 1, difference between 2 and 3 is 1, difference between 3 and 4 is 1, difference between 4 and 5 is 1, 5 and 6 is 1, 6 and 7 is 1, 7 and 8 is 1, 8 and 9 also 1, 9 and 10 also 1. So that means the difference between any two consecutive number is constant. So this is called arithmetic sequence. Let's take one more example. 1, 3, 7, 9. So here the difference between 1 and 2 is 3 is 2. 3 and 7 is 4. 7 and 9 is 2. You see the difference is not constant. In the first case it is 2. Second case 4. Third is 2. So this is not an AP plus this is an AP. So for AP the difference in an ordered list should be constant. Let's take some more examples to clear our concept. So we have to tell whether the sequence is AP or not. This is the sequence 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13. So I'll write here 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13. We'll find a difference. This is 2, 3 and 5, 2, 5 and 7, 2, 7 and 9, 2, 9, 11, 2, 11, 13, 2. You see the difference is constant. So this is AP. We'll take second example, 2, 5, 8, 10, 13. 2 and 5 difference is 3, 5 and 8 difference is 3, 8 and 10 difference is 2, 10 and 13 difference is 3. You see the difference is not constant, this is 2, this is all 3. So this is not an AP. Similarly, let's take the last example, 11, 32, 53, 74 and 95. So difference between 11 and 32 is 21, 32 and 53 is again 21 because 53 minus 33 is 21 and 74, 53 is also 21, 74 minus 53 is 21 and 95 and 74 is also 21. So if you see the difference is constant in all the cases. So we can say that this is AP. So what we have done? We have just found the difference and we observed that in case 1 and case 2 the difference was constant so they were AP. But in case 3, the difference was not constant. It was 2 and it was 3 here. Yeah. So this is not AP. Now let's go through the operations which we can perform on any arithmetic progression. So if a constant is added to each term of AP, the resulting term is also an AP. That means the addition rules holds true. That is plus K holds true for AP. Similarly, if a constant is subtracted from AP, the resulting AP is also AP. For example, that is minus K also holds true for AP. A constant term is multiplied to AP, that also becomes AP. So that means into K is also true for AP. And if you divide by non-zero constant, obviously, that also becomes AP. So divide k also holds true. That means plus minus into divide 
all these holds true for AP. That is, if we have AP arithmetic plus sequence and that has number, let's suppose A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, well, AN. So, first key say when you say plus k, it is still AP. So that means A1 plus k, A2 plus k, A3 plus k, dash dash dash, AN plus k. This is also AP. Obviously, because if you subtract this and this, you get A2 minus A1. If you subtract this and this, you get A2 minus A1. K and K is cancelled. If you subtract this and this, you get A3 minus A2. If you subtract this and this, you get A3 minus A2. So, both are in AP. Similarly, if you subtract also, this becomes A1 minus K, A2 minus K, A3 minus K, AN minus K. So, this is also AP. This is also AP. This is also AP. Similarly, when you say A1 into K, A2 into K, A3 into K, AN into K, this is also AP. And when you say A1 by K, A2 by K, A3 by K, dash dash, AN by K. So, this is also AP. That means, in a given AP, if you add, subtract, multiply or divide any constant number from all the terms in the sequence, that sequence still is an AP. Examples to prove this. Let's take this AP. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So here the difference is 1. So now let's first take, first take the addition 1. We'll say plus uh, 2 to all. So when you say uh, the current sequence is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and you say plus 2, plus 2, you say plus 2, plus 2, you say plus 2, plus 2, plus 2, plus 2, plus 2. So this becomes 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And if you see in this case also the difference here is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So this is also AP. So we have proved this. Now let's suppose let's take minus 1. We'll subtract 1. So let's first write the AP we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We'll say minus 1. This becomes minus 1, minus 1, minus 1. We'll subtract 1 from all the numbers. So this becomes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8 minus 1, 7, 7 minus 1, 6. So now if you see the difference is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So that means this is also AP. That means if you add a constant, subtract a constant, the AP still remains AP. Now let me multiply this number by 3. Let's do this. So the current number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You multiply by 3. You multiply by 3 all numbers. All the numbers you multiply by 3. 5 into 3, 6 into 3, 7 into 3 and 8 into 3. So what you get is 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21 and 24. The difference between 3 and 6 is 3. 6 and 9 is 3. 9 and 12 is 3. 12 and 15 is again 3. 15 and 18 is 3. 18, 21 is 3 and 21, 24 is 3. So you see the difference is constant. That's why we can say that this is also an AP. Thus we have seen that if you multiply the AP with a common number, all the multiply, all the numbers with a common number, you still get the AP. So let's suppose now take example of divide, we'll divide the whole number by 2. So what we have is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You divide by 2, all the numbers 1 by 2, 2 by 2, 3 by 2, 4 by 2, 5 by 2, 6 by 2, 7 by 2, 8 by 2. The difference between 1 by 2 and 
टू बाई टू इज वन बाई टू थ्री बाई टू एंड टू बाई टू इज अगेन वन बाई टू थ्री बाई टू फोर बाई टू इज अगेन वन बाई टू डिफरेंस फोर बाई टू एंड फाइव बाई टू डिफरेंस वन बाई टू फाइव बाई टू एंड सिक्स बाई टू इज डिफरेंस वन बाई टू सिक्स बाई टू सेवन बाई टू डिफरेंस वन बाई टू एंड सेवन बाई टू एट बाई टू डिफरेंस वन बाई टू यू सी द डिफरेंस इज कॉन्स्टेंट वन बाई टू सो वी कैन से दैट दिस इज ऑल्सो ए पी सो दस वी ऑब्जर्व दैट इन अ गिवन ए पी इफ यू मल्टी इफ यू एड सम नंबर इफ यू सब्ट्रैक्ट सम नंबर इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई सम कॉन्स्टेंट और यू डिवाइड सम कॉन्स्टेंट तो ऑल द टर्म्स इन द ए पी दैट ए पी इज टू ए पी थैंक यू विजिट एग्जाम फियर डॉट कॉम टू वॉच फ्री एजुकेशनल वीडियोज ट्राई फ्री ऑनलाइन टेस्ट गेट द बेस्ट क्वालिटी स्टडी मेटेरियल्स स्टडी फ्रॉम द बेस्ट ट्यूटर्स एंड मेंटर्स एंड मैच बो थैंक्स अगेन